Hello and welcome to Game Dog Saga. We're finally back after a very long hiatus. Today we will be talking about the story of El Diablo Negro. In March of 1995, a young black male dog called Tex was brought to Mad's yard. The dog was owned by Smokey of Texas and was obtained from Chicago Mike by buying a pregnant bitch that had been bred to Wells champion Oscar. Tex was your typical Eli Jr. bullies and bred looking dog. His body was long, muscular, and big headed. He had big cutters to match. When Tex turned 14 months old, Smokey was concerned if the dog would even start. So Matt agreed to help school the young dog. At the time, Dead Serious was looking for match dogs, and Matt had a proven one time winner the size of Tex for sale. After only 15 minutes, he had killed his first opponent at an early age. The first eight minutes, Tex buried deep in the shoulders, teeth sunk to the gums. For the remaining seven minutes, he laid deep inside the kidney area until the one-time winner lay dead. Dead Sirius was convinced and bought Tex from Smokey and changed his name to better suit him, El Diablo Negro, which translates to the Black Devil. Diablo was later rolled about six or seven times in their yard, with none of his rolls going over eight minutes without being stopped. After witnessing Diablo roll, their friend Mr. Woods told them something that molded their philosophy. He said, son, put that black dog in the shape and I'll find you a role to see how game he is. You bring the dog and I'll bet the money. If you still don't know what to do after that, let him heal up and put him back in the shape again. I'll find your role, bet the money, and you bring Diablo. Well, needless to say, they found a role and they bet the money. For Diablo's first match, they were hooked into Arius Kennels at 47 pounds. At this time, Diablo was 20 months old and was, was headed south of the border to their backyard, Mexico. On the morning of the show, Diablo weighed in at 51 pounds, some 4 pounds overweight. But by 9 p.m. that night, after being walked, rubbed, and emptied, Diablo made weight, which was somewhat hard on him. The show was definitely still on. Upon arriving on location, we discovered that Arius Kennels had gone out and borrowed another Kennels dog. The dog was Epsi's Joker, a two-time winner and a two-time best of show. Diablo dominated the Joker dog from start to finish, and by the 33 minute mark, Joker sat the line. For Diablo's second match, some five months after his first win, they was hooked into Norman's, Norman Kay's Drexel, him also being a two-time winner and a truly deep game bulldog. Only this time, they traveled east to Cajun country, Louisiana, with Diablo now being 25 months old. This match was being used as a measurement of where they stood with Diablo. Being matched in Mr. K, a legend and one of, if not the most well-respected and honored people in the game, truly made it an honor. Drexel was to be Diablo's toughest and longest match to becoming a champion. Had Drexel not met up with Diablo, he would have had a long and more promising career in the game. The box was 16 by 16, but it could have been 10 by 10, and either dog would have touched the walls. It was truly a classic match, Southern style, with Diablo's speed and extremely hard mouth rapidly becoming the deciding factors. What the f Finally, at the 38 minute mark, Drexel was picked up and brought to his corner for a courtesy scratch. Upon Drexel's release, he had fallen a total of three times, catching himself with his muzzle, until finally lunging and taking hold of Diablo to complete a scratch that proved him to be dead game. After an hour of work on Drexel, he couldn't be saved, but will always be remembered as a truly dead game bulldog. Soon after that match, Diablo was hooked into Pete the Greek and Moe's champion Brazra, a four-time winner at 47 pounds. A forfeit was paid to champion Brazra because Diablo could no longer meet that, that weight and the fight would never go off. Diablo was matched for his championship about 8 months later and at 33 months of age. It was agreed that this match needed to be an against all odds type of match for the two time winner. So to confirm everything, DSK felt he was capable of doing and more, so they headed north. This time traveling to their opponent's backyard once more, over 1500 miles from home to the Big Apple, New York City, where all the lanes are fast. The match was set at 48 pounds into the Gator Boys and their dog Dunga. After two hours of waiting past the scheduled time of the show, Dunga arrives. He weighed in at a conditioned weight of 49 and a half pounds, 
and with Diablo being on wait. Diablo, being 1500 miles from his home in Texas, now had to push an additional pound and a half. Just one more odd to go against. Once the dogs were released, Diablo took control, but at the 3 minute mark, Dunga had the tip of Diablo's muzzle and had suddenly torn Diablo's nose from the bone, which had him breathing through the mouth. The odds were stacked higher, but after 21 minutes of being dominated, Dunga shut down, with this turning out to be Diablo's easiest victory of his career. Afterwards, El Diablo Negro was retired to stud. Thank you all for listening to this episode of Game Dog Saga. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more episodes in the future. I am just a fan and an armchair historian of this wonderful breed. This video should be treated as hearsay and has been fabricated for entertainment purposes only. Stay safe and scratch on.